Uh, all nice to say back to back. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it was a good week. Uh, anytime you can, you know, go on the road to Mary and, and beat your in-state rival um, is huge. And then to get um, the win against Crookston here, um, Moorhead. or Moorhead, sorry, against Moorhead, <laughs> uh, it was a good weekend for us. As you look at those both men's matches, uh, especially in that Moorhead match, do you feel that things uh, really started to come together for your team? Yeah, you know, it was kind of interesting, and I was thinking about this um, actually today, is, you know, when we played Mary the last time is when I really thought everything was coming together. And um, it showed that game. And then, of course, that's when all the injuries started happening. That's when Jeannie went down. And then, of course, that next weekend is when um, Nicole went down. So, um, you know, I, got, I don't want to get too excited. But, yeah, I feel like, you know, we started playing really well, you know, um, going to Winona and getting a game from them and we had just really started to play and uh, you know just felt good and I think all week we kind of felt comfortable and the, the energy was good and it just something you just knew something was different that um, the girls knew it they wanted it and um, you know it was probably the most relaxed I think we've been all year. Yeah. This is a question for both of you guys um, we've seen the strides of taking a game or playing competitive and games getting up into like the high teens and 20s and such. What areas of this game kind of make the difference between winning one set versus winning the match? Um, I think controlling the things that we can control in our areas, that's exactly what coach says when she comes to the middle after all those things. Like a lot of the points that we lose are just on our errors, so it's just cleaning up that side of things. Like play, being more accurate and placing the ball in certain spots instead of just getting up to hit it as hard as we can. So, and then I think it's a little bit mental too. Mm -hmm. um, it's you know I tell them a lot of our problem is between our ears, yeah. and um, you know when you're a program that has continuously won, um, a lot of teams can you could build off that and they just go in with a different mindset. And when you're rebuilding, you know these girls are starting to realize they are capable and they are good enough, um, but just maintaining that. So you know if we can clean out our ears a little bit mm -hmm. and, and just get a little bit mentally tougher. Um, then I really feel that, you know, we can compete against these teams and if not, take them. Right, instead of being, like, shocked that yeah. we're winning, like, just have that confidence the whole time that we know that we can and keeping that throughout the whole game, not just taking sets. Agreed. <laughs> well said. <laughs> okay, now you go back into the fire tomorrow night uh, and, here, you know, another big test for you and how do you feel uh, going into that one? You know, I feel good. I mean, when we played them here, we played them tough. Um, you know, this team's unique in the fact that, honestly, I worry more about teams that are more evenly matched with us than I do against teams that are better than us. Because this group of girls, you know, they're going to go and relaxed, and they know, again, the pressure's not on them when they're going to go up against Northern, in Northern, um, with them being ranked so high in the country. Um, but I always like, we play so well on the road. Um, so right now, I mean, I think we had a good practice this morning, you know, a Monday morning practice. Um, you never know what you're going to get. Um, you never know what you're getting on any Monday and never less in the morning. But uh, the girls were ready and they were focused. And, you know, coming off two wins, I think we have a little bit of some confidence going in. Um, and we just want to go in and compete and, and let the score speak for itself. But, um, you know, serve receive will be key for us, and that has been really good. Um, I think that's what's helped us stay in games against, like, Winona and, and Concordia is our serve receive. And, and the girls are probably hitting the best they've hit all year. And so when we're able to kind of put some side outs um, in play, then I feel uh, we're ready to go. Coach, it seems like a lot more of your attacks have been trying to play off the blockers instead of just trying to put points down across the middle. Is that something you've been uh, emphasizing with the girls, or is that something they've done? I'll let Emily answer that one. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just, like, the whole, like I said earlier, being, like, smarter, working smarter, not harder, and, like, aiming for high hands because we're placing it more, and then we're making it harder for them to get when the balls are going off the hands super far out. We're using them to our advantage, and, like, um, instead of just trying to get up and crush the ball, we're being smart in placing. <laughs> when you're going to go up against a huge block and they get set, that's where we really struggle. And uh, we've really worked a lot on practice of not only fixing our block, but yeah. going up against their block. Because that's one thing like Northern, you know, Augustana mm -hmm. and Southwest and um, Wayne State and all the teams that we have remaining, they have huge blocks and, and they get up there. And, um, you know, our goal is, is if they get the block set on us, then we want to be able to use them. And um, we've been stressing that a lot in practice and stressing going to certain spots. Um, and uh, 
I think it's finally showing that they're starting to do it and they're getting more confident with it. Um, so that is something that we have continuously harped on the girls to uh, let's hit those spots, let's get smarter.